everyone and welcome back to my channel tech teach and transform so i wanted to show you this really cool tip on schoology assessments for filling in worksheets for students so if you have a worksheet that you had like a fill in the blank with like a word bank you can actually make that an assessment in schoology and not have to go through the process of downloading it to a slideshow, making it the backgrounds. This will automatically grade it for you inside of Schoology. So let's get started. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to add materials on your Schoology and go to add an assessment. Now I'm just gonna title it Grammar Worksheet, okay? You can set any of these, but right now I'm just gonna do ungraded and I'm gonna hit create. So once I get to this, this table, you can do any of these assessment settings, toolbars, any of that, but go over to questions and you're gonna go to label image, okay? Now on my worksheet, my worksheet is right here. It's gonna say, use these verbs to fill in the blanks below. So I'm just gonna copy that in my directions. Use these verbs to fill in the blanks below, okay? Now I'm gonna go here to upload image. So I'm gonna click on upload image. I'm gonna click the plus sign. And then I'm gonna find my image on my picture. So my image is right here. I'm gonna double click on that. And I'm just gonna make sure that this is the correct image, which it is, and I'm gonna hit okay. Okay. So now here is my image that I want my kids to have fill in the blank options. So to make this a fill in the blank, you're gonna click on this response box. And there is my response box for number one. And I'm just gonna drag it in the response box, okay? And you're just gonna do that for as many response boxes as you need. So I'm just gonna do three, so that way I can show y'all. So you're just do that. So I'll have on this worksheet, I'll have 15 response boxes, okay? Now, if you keep scrolling down, this is where you can actually create your correct answers. So to create the correct answers, all you're gonna do is inside or right here where it says possible options or possible responses, you're gonna click on this plus sign and then you can put these words in. So see these words right here? I'm gonna put these words in. So I'm just gonna put swim. I'm gonna add another option. I'm gonna put ride, add another option, ring. Okay, so you're just gonna put as many options for however many words that you have, okay? So now the next step, the final step is to actually make your answer document. So if I really did this right, I'm not gonna have you swim a kite, but just for the purposes of it, I'm going to see all of my responses down here and I can just drag them up and place them in the box. So that way it's making the answer key right there for me so it grades it automatically okay so once you get all of these done you'll probably want to hit partial match so that way it doesn't count the entire thing wrong it'll give kids partial match if they missed one or two out of the 15 they'll still get maybe an 85 okay so partial match then you can align your learning objectives to it and hit save so now when I go to my preview for my students and hit start new attempt, this is what pops up. Here are my words and my students can just move them up to where they need to be in the worksheet and hit review and hit finish. Okay. I hope this helps you create some worksheets in Schoology that grade it for you. Take a load off of um, your plate and I hope this helped you. Have a great day. Bye.